This is Your Money, your weekly guide to making the most of your cash here every weekend on BBC News Television, available all week on the BBC iPlayer. Train companies have been told to do more to publicise refunds available to passengers if their journey is delayed or cancelled. The Office of Rail Regulation says most people are unaware of their rights and don't know how to make a claim. So if you're unhappy with a service, not just with your train company, how do you make sure you are suitably compensated? With me now is Jasmine Bertels, consumer, per consumer and personal finance expert at moneymagpie.com. Jasmine, um, when are you entitled for compensation when you, with a train company when there's a delay? Well, um, the rules say that if, if your train is delayed at least by, by an hour, then you can get uh, um, at least 20% back on, on your ticket. But actually, 10 of the companies say that if the, your train is delayed by 30 minutes, you can still get compensation. So, if... Um how do you actually go about claiming them? I mean, do you just go to the train company, National Re Net Network Rail? Who, who's, who do you go to? Well, um, what you can do, there are two ways you can do it. There, there's actually um, a form that you can get from the ticket office, wherever you are. I mean, you know, the start or at the finish of your journey. If you just go and ask for the complaint form, you fill that in and you send it to the train operator. But also there's a website, traindelays.co.uk, and you can, again, download a complaint form. Uh, you can uh, talk to, to other passengers, complain about the the situation that you've had and also you can put information on on that website about you know delays etc and um if we're not just talking about train companies though when we're complaining and us brits don't seem to be that great at complaining um so we've had bad service in a mm. restaurant or a plumber's not done the job you've asked for or there's a d delay in your uh, delivery i mean mm. what do we what should we do well there are various different things you can do depending on on what the problem is i think with with a a, a dinner in a restaurant you know there's something wrong you should um immediately ask to speak to the manager or the owner um and i personally always think it, it's a good idea to to speak normally you know don't get aggressive don't don't shout and throw things around i think one of the problems that we have in in this country is we either we don't complain and we all go oh yes thank you very much it's lovely and then we complain to each other or you know we, we shout and throw things which really isn't helpful because it, it's good for a, a restaurant owner to know if something's wrong and say really seriously this was wrong because this reason this reason this reason um, and really you know a good restaurant will say right fine we'll, we'll either take take everything off your bill or we'll give you desserts for free or something like that and I think you should ask for something for free and certainly don't give a tip if you don't think the service was right um, but similarly if you if you buy something in a, in a shop um, or you you get bad service somewhere and it's that it's all wrong um, you should always go to the shop first and ask for a replacement um, or your money back and you know if there's something wrong there